Today we're here, we're gonna be doing an inspection of the whole appendages. For this examination, we're gonna be starting off uh, with the basic PPE. One difference, we're gonna be wearing a life jacket because we're probably gonna be on a dry dock. If the vessel is up on the land, you don't need the life jacket. While you're doing this exam, you, there's gonna be a lot of stuff moving around you, so you definitely wanna be cognizant of things above your head, pinch points with the dry dock, and wherever you're walking, it might get a little tight, so just watch your head. All right, so we're gonna now look at the keel coolers on this vessel. When you're inspecting this part of the vessel, you're mostly looking for a general condition. But these keel coolers are basically a heat exchanger for the engine coolant, and it's taking the cool water from, from the surrounding water of the vessel and exchanging the heat so that the engines stay cool. So liquid water coolant is going through these channels on this channel cooler. Again, mostly looking for corrosion, signs of damage, and uh, visual inspection. As we move on, we can also take a look at the, um, the sacrificial elements of the vessel. All of these anodes are zinc anodes, and the zinc anodes are there to protect the hull from corrosion. They're supposed to be spaced out all around the vessel, and some, you can see, are already being sacrificed. When you look up here, the one up here is almost done. That one's gotta be replaced in this dry dock. This one's got some good amount of sacrifice, but it's not there yet. And if you can see it, this one, this zinc anode is brand new. All the zinc anodes are strategically placed to keep the hole from corroding. So here we have a strut for where the shaft comes through. Um, it's gonna help hold the shaft in alignment during uh, transit. What we're mostly looking at here is signs of corrosion or damage to the, um, to the appendage here. As you can see, uh, we're always concerned about pit corrosion, general corrosion. Um, you see a lot of wear signs up by the top of the um, appendage here. And, a lot, and all of these are gonna be coming with some sort of protection. This one has that anode, the zinc anode, just like the other uh, parts of the hull. Up on top, we also have these other appendages, this eye hole pole. This helps them pull the shaft whenever they need to go to dry dock. So they can attach there, pull the shaft. And that's our main focus is just looking at the overall condition and make sure that it's got, uh, it doesn't have significant corrosion and it's serviceable. All right, let's take a moment to talk about the transducer here. You see right here, this is where the transducer come, um, is attached to the pole. The biggest thing we're looking for is signs of corrosion and wear. Right at this point, they're actually working on this transducer, doing some welding on the doubler. And uh, when this is all done with dry dock, they're gonna make sure the transducer is back in place, sealed up, and ready to go. So all we're looking for again is just signs of corrosion, wear, and that when the transducer is put in black, back in place, it's put in properly and sealed up for watertight integrity. All right, so here we have a vessel with a pretty good uh, keel here for examination. When we're examining the keel, you're mostly looking for uh, signs of damage and corrosion, just like the rest of the underhull uh, appendages. On some vessels, not this one, but some other vessels, you'll see spuds or skegs. And they're very similar. You're looking for times when it may be grounded, alighted with something, and definitely, definitely always looking for signs of general corrosion and wear. All right, that finishes our inspection of hole appendages. Today, we, uh, the trainee recalled any hazards, cautions, and or PPE when inspecting hole appendages. Trainee inspected condition and structural integrity of the bilge keel, skegs, and or spuds. Training inspected conditions of struts, including mounting hardware. Training inspected conditions of coolers, whether it's a keel or not, or grid or channel. The training inspected condition of transducers and other similar appendages. Training inspected condition of impressed current cathodic protection systems or anodes. And the trainee described any tips or unique considerations when inspecting hull appendages. If you have further questions, talk to your local verifying officer.